Hey, what's going on guys? We're back at it again. We're gonna cut right to the chase. If you wanna learn how to play a walking bass line over a two, five, one progression, this is the lesson for you. Grab your bass, let's go. All right guys, so in previous lessons, I've talked about how to play the two, five, one progression like a pro. I won't go over that right now. So I would suggest that you watch that video and then come back here to play the walking bass line. We talked about what exactly it is, uh, what chords you're trying to play over a two, five, one progression. We talked about it in the key of C major. D minor seven, G seven, and C major seven, D being the, the two, G being the five, one uh, being the C, all right? So I don't wanna go over that, waste too much time with that, I wanna go right into it. So walking bass line, I wanna tell you the definition of a walking bass line. So a walking bass line, think of it as a pulse, all right? So your heart has a pulse, your heart has a beat, right? So you're thinking more so rhythm. So it's like a doom, 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 doom. It's a constant pulse, constant rhythm that's going on that keeps the band moving. It's almost just as important as the drum part. All right, if you're playing in, inside of a band, if you're playing with a band, playing with a drummer, uh, it's just as important as that because it drives the whole band together. If you're going that pace, you don't have to go that speed. I'm just going, I'm just talking about that. It can be tons of walking bass lines. There's fast walking bass lines. There's slow, slow, slow walking bass lines, but it's all about how you approach it. So there's many different ways and many different bass players that you can listen to that approach walking bass lines in a different manner. So you don't have to do it exactly like them, but I'll show you the concept that they use or that most bass players or even that I use to kind of walk around a bass line or to get from one progression or one chord to the next. So if I'm playing a two, five, one progression, let's, let's get that in our head, all right? We've got two, five, one progression in the key of C, so we're going from D, G, C. That's our bass note, okay? So very quickly, I wanna go over what we can play over the two, what we can play over the five, and what we can play over the one. Over the two, we can play, that's gonna be a D minor seven chord. We can play a triad or arpeggio or the scale. We have to know what scale it derives from. It comes from the Dorian scale. The five comes from the Mixolydian scale. All right, two, uh, let's go back to the two. Two goes from the Dorian scale. All right, if I can play it right, there we go. All right, five goes from the uh, Mixolydian scale. And then we're back home, we're home to the one uh, on the Ionian scale. I'm just using the names of the modes if you're not familiar with that already. Uh, there's tons of lessons out there where I explain exactly what that is. Like I said, I would suggest that you watch that because I'm gonna be using a lot of terms from that so I don't wanna waste any, uh, waste any time going over that. But anyway, so from the Dorian scale, we can use a triad, we can use arpeggio using the one, three, five, or the one, three, five, and the seven. All right, same thing with the Mixolydian. We can use one, three, five, uh, or one, three, five, seven with the arpeggio. Um, same thing with the Ionian. One, three, five with the uh, triad, and one, three, five, seven with the, uh, yeah, with the arpeggio. So I'm going based on what the chord tones are, what the chord notes is. All right, so I got a D minor seven. I'm using seven chords. D minor seven, G seven, dominant seven, and then C major seven. Okay, so that has a lot to do with what we can play. If you're reading chord charts and that's what it says, you have to know what that means. That seventh note or the D minor or whatever the chord may be, you have to be able to know how to read that. But I'll put it up here on the screen so you can see visually D minor seven, G seven, C major seven. Okay, so if I wanted to play over that, let's, let's get a beat. Uh, that sounds good right there. One, two, one, two, three, four. That's our D minor seven. That's our G seven. And that's our C major seven. And I'll play that twice. All right. So I'll play that measure twice. The D minor seven is going to be one measure. Uh, the G7 is going to be the next measure, and then the C7 is going to be for the next two, uh, T C major 7 is going to be for the next two measures. All right, so let's just count it off like that. So we've got one, two, three, four. And what I'm doing is I'm just playing a pulse. I'm not doing anything fancy at all right now, right? So I'm not technically walking right now, I'm just playing a pulse. Playing the root notes to the, to the bass line. And you hear how there's no spaces in between that. I try not to have, right? I try not to have too many spaces because when you hear the term walking bass line, you don't think that because you're, it's, it's all tied together. It's doom, 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 doom. 
All right, and right here, what I'm doing, I'm just doing a palm muting type of technique too, uh, just, just just to mimic the, the sound of an upright bass, but we'll talk about that later, um, a whole course on palm muting. But anyway, so just make sure you got the notes. All right, and the fill. All right, so I want you to practice that Play along with a, a, a metronome or when you're playing along with a band or even if you're just reading uh, sheet music. I'll probably put that the music along with this too as well or, or backing track along with this. Um, yeah, I, I might put that along with it along with the PDF uh, but so you guys can follow along uh, easily. So let's, let's play it with a, let's play it with a, uh, let me show you an example. D, so two, five, one. All right, so that's exactly what I mean. So that's a pulse, now we got that. All right, we haven't walked yet. We haven't done a walking bass line, but now what we can do, we can kind of we can kind of branch out and figure out what we can do uh, with these different chord progressions or with these different chord changes. So mm -hmm. for the D minor seven, we can play the triad, and what I like to do, I just like to play four, four notes of the triad, of each chord. Okay, so what I'm doing, I'm playing, um, it's, it's, I'm, I'm playing a variation of it, but I'll play uh, one, three, five, three. Yeah, I'll play one, three, five, three. Okay, so for the D minor seven, I have one, three, five, three of that Dorian scale. First note, third note, fifth note, third note of that scale of that chord change, okay? Next chord change, I'm going to the mixolydian. All right, so G, B, D, B. Okay, one, three, five, three. You don't have to do it like that. That's just a variation of what you can do. You can do one, three, five, one, right? You can do that as well. But I'm just showing you different things you can do, kind of switching it up a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna play that variation, the one, three, five, three on top of every chord, okay? So here we go. You guys get the hang of it okay so it's one three five three and i'm still doing the same exact rhythm the pulse i'm still using that same exact pulse all right so that's very important to figure to to realize that you have to have that pulse within it now when you come to uh different variations that you can do as well now you have some chromatic or passing notes that you can do as well now you're thinking about walking bass lines, all right? Now now you're coming to the actual definition <laughs> of the term. So now we're using passing tones or passing notes to get to the next chord progression, all right? So I keep saying progression, next chord change, okay? So so if I'm doing, just follow me here. If you're not, you know, ask questions, please. <laughs> That's what the comment section is for. Uh, ask questions if you have no idea what I'm talking about or if you need me to slow down or whatever. Just let me know. Uh, be more than happy to help you. But for the sake of time. <laughs> so what we can do is we can have a passing tone, meaning a note leading to it or a note uh, leading, yeah, leading to it before, maybe a half step before or a half step above. All right, so we have to work within that half step range. Anything outside of, of a whole step is really too big of a jump, right, for a walking bass line, right? But uh, you still have that pulse, you still have that feel, depending on what depending on what the bass line is or what the chord changes are, but you still need to have that pulse. Don't lose the pulse. That's very important. Don't lose that rhythm. Don't lose that, you know, you're the heartbeat, okay? Um, so what we can do is play a D minors. All right, so we play the D minors. I play the D minor seven triad. And what I did was my next chord change, my next chord change goes to the mixolydian, goes to the G7. So I know my bass note is gonna be a G7. But what I did in place of the fourth note of that measure, I did a pickup note. I did a pickup from the F sharp to the G. Okay, so you can do it either way. You can do it an octave higher or the octave lower, it doesn't matter. So I did one, two, three, four, one. 
-hmm. right? So now I'm on that bass note. Now I'm on the note of that chord change of the G7. So that's a way to add in those passing tones or that kind of chromatic uh, passing change to the next chord change. So. All right, so the next one actually works out pretty good because we're doing G, B, D, B already. And that is a half step before the C, the next chord change. Okay, you get it? I'll try it. I'll, I'll actually, I'll slow it down and I'll try it again. And I'll, I want you guys to see and catch it. Got it? You see that passing, tone, just that one little passing tone makes it sound a little bit different. Now we're getting more into a walking bass line. Okay, so next part. Hey guys, one more thing. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You also want to visit DerekBennett.com, the bass education community where we make learning how to play the bass fun while you're mastering it at the same time. So go ahead and check it out and grab you a free trial while you're there. Check it out, see how you like it. We got tons of material, tons of lessons in there. Uh, hope to see you in there. Till next time.